<laughs> what is up people YouTube, it is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends Shadowland Daredevil. Daredevil is a guy named Matt Murdock. As a child, he ended up in a radiation accident and became blind. When he became an adult, he became a lawyer and trained how to fight blind and to travel blind. Later, he became Daredevil. This figure is the Shadowland version of Daredevil where the suit is mostly black. Is the figure worth it? Let's get started. Sculpt is, guess what? The same generic gas bucket cat mold! But to be fair, it does have some new parts. But let's be honest. The mold is outdated at this point and needs to be replaced. It's fine, but for today, we should have gotten something different. I'm not going to go into too much detail, so I apologize. Still though, let's take a closer look. The head sculpt is pretty good. We get the two horns and he sports a bit of a stern look, but paint where the skin meets the mask is not well done here. The body is a basic muscular sculpt and the logo is painted very nicely, very clean. Most of the figure is just black, so there's not too much to talk about paint-wise. The lower body sports the red belt that Daredevil has, and there's zero paint on it, which is a bit odd. The arms are a basic muscular-like sculpt, and like I said, paint is almost non-existent. The red gloves have a tight, wrapped, and twirly sculpt, and it's pretty cool. But it also has a random black wash, which was admittedly unnecessary. The legs has a basic muscular sculpt, and is all black. The Billy Club holster is sculpted well, but again, we get no paint here, which is confusing. The boots are all red and have a great sculpt. Shoelaces, creases, it's all there. But the black they added to the laces is not very well done. Honestly, sculpt is fine and paint is okay where it is, but the mold really just doesn't have to be here anymore. I'm not sure how many times I said this, but the Bucky Cat mold articulation is, you know, it's the same song and dance we've seen before. It's nothing to crazy. It's nothing too radically different from other Marvel Legends. Um, it's basic. That doesn't mean the, artic the articulation is bad. I just want to, want to stress that. It's just because, you know, we've seen this over and over and over again. You pretty much know what to expect. So I'm going to debris right through it. Head is on the ball hinge. You can look this high up, this far down, lean side to side, barely any play. We have an ab crunch. He has one notch forward, which is uh, decent. No, actually, I lied. Uh, that's actually two not, not just one. We have one notch to the back, which is it's okay. Arms are on the silver hinge, but it is very stiff. Well, not very stiff, but, but it is decently stiff. Arms can hinge up to about this far, which is pretty good. Biceps are on the swivel. Elbows on the double hinge. We get more than 90 degree movement, so that's good. Hands are on the swivel hinge. We have a waist swivel. Legs can kick forward about this much. They can kick backwards about this much. We get a pr a pretty decent split. Thighs can swivel. Knees are on a double hinge. The yes one on mine is, is a bit stuck. I think it, it could go about this far. Can it? Uh, no, it, it could actually go only about that far. Boots are on the swivel. Swivel hinges for the ankles. He can kick down about this far. Kick forward about this far. And we do have the ankle rocker. Like I said, articulation is basic for Marvel Legends. Again, nothing too radically crazy. It, it, don't get me wrong. It, it's still decent. You'll still be able to get Daredevil in some cool Daredevil-like sh shots. It's just that, like I said, we've seen it over and over. Nothing much to say. Daredevil stands just a little over 6 inches to the top of his head. Here are the comparisons. Here he is with the figure arts Black Panther and Ant-Man. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Scarlet Spider and Elektra. Here he is with the Marvel Legends House of M Spider-Man and Doc Ock. Here he is with the Marvel Legends Cloak and Dagger. And finally, here he is with the Marvel Legends Demolition Man and SPDR. Daredevil has a nice scale with the other figures despite the Bucky Cat mold, so sizing really isn't an issue. Daredevil comes with some nice accessories, so let's take a look. First are his two gripping hands that were on him in the package. Next are two fist hands. And finally, his billy clubs attached to a plastic wire to make it look like he's whipping or using it to swing around. The billy clubs fits in the gripping hands very snug. No need to worry about them falling out. 
The clubs themselves can be removed off of the wire, just in case you want them in a holster, or want them to be used individually in Daredevil's hands. A nice amount of stuff that Daredevil comes with. I think something that would have sweetened the deal would have been an unmasked Matt Murdock head. But that's just a nitpick. So, buy, don't buy, or wait for a sale. Daredevil isn't a bad figure, but feels a bit rushed and lazy. The Bucky Cat mold really should have been updated for modern articulation's sake. Since Daredevil is a very agile character, it just felt like Hasbro really did not care. But at the same time, this figure is not horrendous. I don't know, sometimes I have fun with this figure, other times I don't. I can only recommend him if you want the Build-A-Figure piece or just need a Daredevil for the collection. He's not a bad figure, just not the greatest. I'll give Daredevil a 7.5 out of 10. Well, that's it. Thanks guys and gals so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you would like to be updated on when new videos goes up, be sure to subscribe. If you want to be notified when new videos go live, be sure to hit that bell icon. And if you want some behind the scenes stuff, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Link to it is down below. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.